pose pose. We'll take a nice deep breath in and on the exhale, raise one arm and the opposite leg, just looking out over that raised hand and then gently lower and then move on to the other side. So take a nice deep breath in and on the exhale, raise the other arm and opposite leg. And gently lower down. You can either do the same again, so one arm at a time, or you can do both together. So taking a big breath in and on the exhale, raising both arms and both legs. Hold for a few breaths and then gently lower down whenever you're ready. Bringing the hands underneath the shoulders and tucking the toes, we'll move back onto all fours. And extending one arm and one leg out, we'll do some rotations with the hand. So rotating the arm in circles, five of them one way, five of them the other way. And stilling the hand and doing the same with the foot. So rotating five circles one way with the foot and then five the other way. When you finish those, reaching out through the fingertips and the toes once more before gently replacing the hand and the knee. And we'll move on to the other side. So taking the other arm and opposite leg out, we'll start our circle rotations with the hand one way. So five one way, and then five the other way. Then we'll still the hand and do the same with the leg. So taking the foot in circles, five one way, and then five the other way. And when you've done your five, you're standing out through the fingertips and the toes before coming back down onto all fours. We'll then tuck the toes, lift the hips all the way back into our downward facing dog. You can bend and stretch the legs if you want to. And then still the legs, taking the weight onto the left leg, and raising the right foot all the way up, bending the knee and bringing it up to the nose and extending out. Bending the knee, bringing it underneath the body to touch the left elbow and then extending out, bending the knee, bringing it up to the right elbow and extending out. We'll do three more of those. So up to the nose, up to the left elbow, and then up to the right elbow, really extending out each time. And last round, up to the nose, up to the left elbow, and then up to the right elbow. And then gently lowering down when you've done all of those and we'll switch over to the other leg. So taking the left leg all the way up, extending up and then bending the knee, bringing it up to the nose and extending out. Bringing the knee underneath the body up to the right elbow and extending out. And then bringing the knee up to the left elbow and extending out. We'll do two more rounds of that. So bringing it up to the knee, knee to nose knee to right elbow and then knee to left elbow and last round knee to nose knee underneath the body to the right elbow and knee to left elbow and then really extending out for gently lowering that leg walk out your dog for a bit if you like and then come down onto the knees and have a rest in child's pose. So bringing the hands down so they're resting either sides of the feet, forehead resting gently on the floor and taking a couple of breaths. And then we'll move back into our plank pose. So coming back into plank and we'll do a plank hold for 30 seconds. So a nice strong plank pose, a lovely straight line all the way from your forehead right down to your ankles, keeping that, that core nicely tucked in. And once we've done our plank hold, we'll move into our side plank. So to do this, we'll move one hand to the centre of the mat. And then take the other hand all the way up and flip round so you've got one foot on top of the other. You can look up towards that top hand if you like. And if you want to strengthen yourself a bit more, you can raise the upper leg so you look a bit like a star. And gently come back to your plank pose and we'll go and do our side plank on the other side. So taking the other hand to the middle of the mat, flipping over 
keeping those hips raised nice and high. And if you want to, you can raise the top leg so you look a bit like a star and then gently lower down. Coming back into your plank, we'll keep the elbows tucked into the body as we gently lower down really nice and slowly. And then move the chest through the hands to come up into upward facing dog, keeping those legs nice and strong and the legs raised up off the floor. And we'll gently come back into our child's pose. So taking the hips back to the heels, taking the forehead down to the floor and just taking a couple of breaths in our child's pose. And we'll flip over, come to lying on our backs now. So lying on your backs with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor, arms either sides of the body. We'll tilt the pelvis ever so slightly to bring the lower back down towards the mat. So we're pulling the belly button in towards the spine and trying to retain that. We're going to see if we can lift the feet up off the mat so our legs are in a nice 90 degree angle. If you find your lower back lifts up off the floor, you can just gently bring the knees into the body and that should help bring it back down. But we'll move into our yogi bicycle, so gently taking some cycles forwards. So nice and big and slow and controlled if you can. The slower and bigger you do this, the more it will work your core. So just take your time, just keep breathing. And then we'll flip round and start pedaling backwards. So doing nice big circles in the other direction. And then to test yourself, bring the feet back together and we'll try and do five cycles forward with both legs. So really keeping that belly button pulled down towards the spine, keep engaging that core. And doing five big cycles forwards. And once you've done those five, we'll do our five cycles backwards. So keep breathing, keep the breath nice and smooth. And once you've done your five backwards, bring the feet back down and gently lower down to the floor, taking the legs out long and stretching the arms up overhead. Having a nice self-indulgent stretch. And then bringing the hands back down to either sides of the body, bending the knees. You can bring the hands up in sit-up position so they're gently resting on the side of the body. And engaging that core, we're going to gently lift the head, neck and shoulders up off the mat, looking up towards the ceiling, really keeping that belly button pulled down towards the spine. A couple of little crunches. Pretend you've got a nice big piece of fruit, like a mango or something between the chin and the chest. To stop you crunching up in the neck, so keep the neck and the chest nice and open. And if you want to test yourself, you can raise the legs up, as we did before with our yogi bicycle, and do a few more crunches. <laughs> 